Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. In this video, I want to talk about EVE 2.0 and what it means for us miners. And there's lots of good information out there from various outlets, forums, blogs, what have you. I like to keep my eyes on the Ethereum uh, Twitter page because a lot of the major important players or devs uh, will post or, or you know kind of provide information through this outlet. Uh, for example, hackmd.io, you can see here on the left-hand side, they have various... Uh, post from various dates uh, as a time of filming right now it's October 5th and you can see this last update was from October 2nd and I'll have links to everything in this video in the description below if you want to check it out but I want to talk over a few key points right now we know that the phase zero testnet is active and it's actually been active for around 60 days with uh, Medela um, and here is the actual stats here that we can see the Medela testnet on ETH to stats.io and kind of watch everything as it goes what block and everything they're on uh, primarily it comes down to well why is eve 2.0 even a discussion well because of limitations to the the 1.0 and that's how we're going to refer it to the video we got uh, 1.0 for the current proof of work uh, setup and then 2.0 for the beacon chain or future implementation of eve 2. Um, the current limitations is really speed, energy, and opportunity. Ethereum can only handle 15 transactions per second, while Visa can process around 1,500. And the mining process for verifying these transactions uses a lot of electricity. It's very electrically intensive or, or very energy intensive. And kind of side topic on that, think about it. If you pay attention to your local uh, environmental groups, forms, uh, personnel, uh, politicians, they're seeing an uptick in energy usage or demand for energy and it's costing more and more to provide the community whether it's the town city region uh, because of the way the grids are designed it's, it's they're having to run during peak times uh, stuff that isn't so environmentally friendly right not everybody has switched to hydro uh, wind or solar so we add people building bigger and bigger mining farms or maybe just residential mining as well as the normal you know maybe somebody has an electric car the demand just keeps growing as we the the consumer grow throughout the world uh, proof of work blockchains need the mining process to uh, to be energy intensive for security reasons so the cost of attacking a network is high but it also means that there's a financial barrier barrier to participating as a miner right so to get in as a miner uh, yeah you could get a RX 580 for what 120 bucks and then you motherboard CPU stuff like that so there is a kind of like a entry fee so to speak but it kind of is for everything so I'm not sure how that statement applies because even to become a validator you're gonna need 32 uh, Ethereum which isn't exactly cheap but if you've been mining for quite a while 32 is is gonna be easy to get Ethereum needs to scale but it still needs to be secure and decentralized these three things aren't the easiest to achieve it's hard to scale a blockchain in a secure decentralized way some blockchains are able to provide more transactions per second but this is because it's centralized when you compromise decentralization you also compromise the openness and security of the system and ethereum does not want to do that people love ethereum because of what it's capable of what the project has provided so far. Eve 2 is designed to scale without sacrificing performance, security, or decentralization. It's going to uh, do it through some big changes that will be shipping out with new features slowly but surely. We're on phase zero right now and most importantly the number I want you to keep an eye on is phase 1.5. Um, once phase zero is complete there will be two active Ethereum chains. One for you know proof of work or ETH 1.0 and one for the beacon chain or ETH 2.0 uh, during this phase users will be able to send their ETH from the ETH 1 to ETH 2 chain and become validators right so you can become a validator if you have a 32 ETH but I want you to note something once you do this it's a one-way thing it's automatically burned you can go from 1 to 2 but you can't go from 2 back to 1 so you can't step backwards um, both chains, ETH1 and ETH2, will operate in parallel to each other. 
In phase 0, 1, and 2, the main proof of work chain will remain live while testing and transitioning is happening on the EVE 2.0 chain. This means that rewards, and this is a key point, that rewards will be paid to both the validators and the miners through block rewards. Therefore, the combined inflation of both chains may spike initially, but then start to trend towards 0 to 1% range as proof of work is initially, you know, gradually phased out, so to speak. So that's a key point to remember. I, it's not happening right now, but when we get to like the the 1.5 stage, that may that may be what happens. Uh, however, I don't want you to think that ETH 2.0 is is just around the corner. It's going to happen any second. It's really not. We're only on phase zero. Right now, they're working out the kinks, the bugs, and and just like hardware when i when i tell the community or you guys to hey don't buy a new gpu at launch uh don't buy this new cpu at launch just be patient wait for reviews to come out and then make an informed decision then same thing with software when new software is released uh maybe there's a uh, a few bugs or kinks that they got to work out they got to iron it out and then release it to the general public and you can become a validator and test a uh, number of devs are already doing it i mean just look how many people are already on how many nodes are already on the test net so it's good they're they're working it out if um 2.0 phase zero is active then we're gonna have one 1.5 and then two 1.5 is the one i want you guys to remember because as miners that's where we're going to see this kind of transition it'll still be operating in parallel but it's going to be taking bits and pieces from the proof of work chain and then validating it over on the beacon chain uh and sharding it out so to speak there's a lot of good information about shards and beacon chain and how it's going to implement, but we're going to get uh, a better, faster, more secure chain with ETH 2.0. As a miner, sticking to the, the, the mining aspect, what does that mean? Like, what, what are we going to do? All right, well, say, for example, ETH 2.0 is out right now. We can no longer mine Ethereum, and we have to choose another coin. Well, right now, as of time of filming it would look like ethereum classic now that's a good thing right because ethereum classic's been attacked three times this year and the reason they're getting attacked is the network hash rate it's so easy to implement an attack when i say easy maybe not easy for the average person but easy for the attacker to to really implement in their own right um you can see here Right now, we're at 4.75 terahash mining Ethereum Classic, but when the attacks initially happened, we were all the way down to like 1 point something, maybe like the mid ones to low twos, somewhere in there. Uh, if the entire network hash rate jumped from Ethereum to Ethereum Classic, that would secure Ethereum Classic to prevent those attacks. It would cost too much for the attacker to, to implement, so therefore discouraging them from attacking the Ethereum Classic classic network and matter of fact they're trying to already make improvements uh they feature red panda mining's uh video here where they're trying to you know developers are trying to implement to allow the the, the gpus to have three to four gigabytes of memory to mine and secure the network of ethereum classic so they're encouraging uh miners to have these type of gpus to get back into the game and, and go ahead and you know mine ethereum classic and secure it because it is profitable as of right now to still mine ethereum classic despite their attacks even during the attacks i've seen ethereum classic continue to stay profitable uh, but ethereum classic is not the only coin and if they do transition to sha3 uh like they mentioned then that would that would take that coin off the board we wouldn't be able to go from ethereum to ethereum classic however if they can hold off if they can implement and and allow the 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 community to get back in it which their network hash rate is is growing and hold out until ETH 2.0 comes, then they'll see an influx of miners jumping from Ethereum to Ethereum Classic. So ETC guys, if you can hold out and mitigate attacks until ETH 2.0 rolls out and they shut down the proof of work uh, section of the Ethereum ecosystem, you may get a huge boost in miners coming in to protect your network. Just FYI. Uh, beyond that, though, we got Pearl, Ethergem, Metaverse, Expanse, Etho, Elysium. There's a whole slew of coins. Quark Chain. 
there's a there's a bunch of coins like I can keep going ether social and there may even be more by the time Eve 2.0 even comes out there might be another coin that everybody's ecstatic about that is uh, you know dagger or ETH hash or whatever algo you want to call it um, that everybody wants to jump onto so it's, it's just patience we got plenty of time as miners to go ahead and stack our ethereum to get that 32 that we need to become a validator so continue to mine um, as you see fit if you already have your 32 and you want to jump around on the test net go ahead and check it out check the links in the description below there's even a guide on how to uh, go ahead and get set up but until then we just mine away guys mine away we got plenty of time we'll be fine and there's plenty of options to jump to yes pearl isn't as uh, profitable as mining ethereum or ethereum classic at the moment but what's to say that when e 2.0 comes out it won't be more profitable then uh, if you want my coins I would be jumping on ethergem cork uh, cork chain or pearl those are the three coins that I would switch over to if ethereum and ethereum classic were not available to mine anymore but that's gonna do it for today's video guys thanks for watching do me a favor hit the like button out there uh, out there hit the like button for me <laughs> subscribe for more content like this and check the description for articles and and various links in here featured in the video as well as affiliate links that do help out the channel you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one